Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to talk about limit. Okay, so the limit definition says the limit of f of x as x approaches a equals some value we're going to call it l okay so the question is what does it mean let's take a look at let's take a look at one easy example okay so think of it this way we have a we have a function y equal to x okay um we all know how to graph a function like y equal to x, right? We just need a t table, x, y, we take bunch of values. So zero will be zero, one will be one, two will be two. Once we find those points, um, then we can draw a straight line, right? So y equal to x. So that's how I have drawn the function, right? Now, let's say if someone asks me, that if if f of x equal to x if x is equal to one what's the y value okay so what we do if if someone asks you if f of x equal to x x is equal to one what's the y value one thing you can do you can just plug it in so f of one will be just one right remember our y value is f of one right so y is your f of one so in this case the answer is going to be one isn't it so the in limit the idea is almost the same almost not exactly but almost all right so let's say if someone asks me limit as x approaches a of for this function let's f of x equal to equal to what okay so let's say for this specific problem my f of x is equal to y equal to x or x okay and let's say my x is approaching some number we can call it one so what do you think the answer is going to be the answer is going to be one isn't it okay so if x is one the y value will also be equal to one right so what does that mean so it means as x approaches one my y value is approaching one okay so that's what it means as x value is approaching one the height or the y value is approaching to one okay all right so this is the easiest example that i can give you let's work on a on a different example okay all right Let's say I have y equal to x minus 1 divided by x square minus 1. And let's say for this function, I want to find out, I want to ask the same question, okay? Now, pay close attention. You have to listen really, really carefully because this part can confuse you. So I am going to talk about two different things, okay? So let's say if f of x equal to x minus 1 divided by x square minus 1 if someone asks me if for this specific function if x is equal to 1 what's going to be the y value okay so what's going to be the y value so f of 1 is going to be 1 minus 1 divided by 1 square is just 1 minus 1. So that's just going to be 0 over 0, okay, which is undefined, okay. I hope you notice that we also have a small hole here, and that's why we found undefined, right? So if I ask you this question, this isn't giving us a lot of information about that 
about this graph at that specific point, right? So one thing we can do, we can use limit to find out what's going on around one, okay? So what limit does, it does not care about what's going on uh, with the height or the y value at that specific x value, okay? It, it only care about, it only cares about what's going on around one, okay? So that's why we use limit. So this is, this is not useful, okay? So we don't want it. What we want, we want to use limit, okay? Let me erase this part, okay? So now I'm going to ask the same question, but using limit. So limit as x approaches one, What's the value of x minus 1 divided by x square minus 1? So now, what we want to do, we want to find out what's going on with the height as x is approaching 1, okay? So for limit, what you have to do, you, you should always simplify the function as much as you can, okay? So on top, there's nothing we can do. Uh, in our denominator, we have x square minus 1. That means we can apply the differences of perfect square formula, okay? If you do that, you will get x plus 1 and x minus 1, okay? So I have x minus 1 on top and x minus 1 on the bottom. They will cancel each other out. So we have limit as x approaches 1, 1 over x plus 1. Now, now you can plug it in. If we substitute x with 1, 1 plus 1, that's going to be 1 half or 0 0.5. As you can see, we also have 0 0.5, okay? So I hope you noticed uh, the difference between limit and uh, finding out uh, the y value when x value is given. So limit is saying what's going on around. So limit is basically saying what's going on around one. It does not care about what's going on at one. It cares about what's going on around one. Okay. So it's giving us the height or the y value when x is approaching one.